Hello Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a work and career reading for Aries for 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I've put my email and my website details in the description box, so please send me an email. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay, so please click on these links to get to the site to buy the decks. Uh, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. Now I'm starting off with, um, I've got four cards drawn for each month, and one is a Lenormand, one is a Tarot, um, a, an Oracle card, as well as a, an advice from the um, Fairy Tarot. So let's start off with January. And you've got a celebration coming in over here. You've got a lot of wine celebration. So you might be going to a lot of meetings, business meetings, or you could be just celebrating some kind of event that has happened. Now, you've been through a lot of tough times recently. You've got the Ten of uh, Swords over here. So going through quite an upheaval in your life, but you're emerging from it um, and, you know, um, a little worse for the wear, but certainly getting over all those difficulties and problems and moving away from that situation. So all that drama is now in the past. It says to take courage. Um, you know, you are getting over things and things ha have now ended. The, all the difficulties have gone um, and it's time to move on. You've also got this Ten of Winter over here, which says the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder and the end of addiction or codependency. So whatever problems you've been facing, you've got two a ten of Swords, because the Ten of Winter is like the Ten of Swords, and you are now definitely ended with all those problems and all of that is now in the past and now you are... Uh, are moving away from it so you need to take courage uh, get your strength back uh, you have dealt with the worst and the worst is now over and it really is a time to celebrate the end of all that misery so that's going on in January so in February uh, you've got uh, the clove coming in which is a uh, sudden luck coming in for you so your luck has definitely is definitely going to be changing so if you're uh, in a position uh, whatever uh, job position you are you are moving up the career ladder over here uh, you can see starting off from the bottom and moving up to the top and hopefully you'll be getting to that most comfortable chair right now so definitely some career progression coming in for you and you've got fortunes over here so definitely a change in luck and good luck coming your way as well uh, you've got the six of spring over here as the fast, uh, last card, which is wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success and public recognition. So you are definitely achieving at this uh, moment. This is the card of victory, being victorious over all the adversities that you've been through and good news coming in for you here in February. So there might be some kind of promotion or a new job, something that takes you out of all that uh, drama that you went through. So in March, you've got uh, the eye over here. So, uh, you know, you need to be very vigilant. You need to be, uh, you know, on the lookout, um, you know, watch your back kind of situation. Also, a need for you to use your intuition um, and, um, you know, make sure that you are basically be suspicious of everybody. Don't trust anybody and, you know, keep an eye out for, for anybody who is going to cause any problems for you and keep away from them, really. You've got the Fool card coming in next, so starting a brand new journey, starting something brand new for you, uh, and a new open road, so all your, your path is cleared now, uh, things will start moving for you. There's miracles over here, so something happening, uh, you know, you've been praying to the universe, and it seems like your, your prayers are being answered right now. And you've got the Prince of Spring, which is your card really, uh, immediate action, a challenge that you can successfully manage, um, and a passionate relationship, so, um, you know, uh, Things are starting to move for you. You've got your um, your mojo back, if you like. You've got your energy back, and you've got your strength back. And you um, you need to make decisive actions. So um, uh, things moving quite fast and moving forward quite um, positively for you. So in April. You've got the stalk. There might be a home move for you. You might be moving in order for you to get this new job that seems to be coming in for you uh, with this Ace of Pentacles. So new money and a new job coming in for you. Definitely something to do with business and definitely something to do with more money. But def uh, but there looks like there might be a, uh, a change in residence. So you might be buying a new home uh, or moving uh, just, um, you know, just to get this new job that you have. So refuse pov poverty, showing that you need to be very 
uh, positive thinking and stop thinking that er you know everything is uh Stop thinking with a mentality of lack. You've got to think with a mentality of abundance. So start living as though you have the abundance already. So uh, thinking positively to attract in that, um, that wealth. You've got the four of winter and set aside all your concerns for now. It is time um, you can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation and a need for more sleep or a vacation. So after all the stress that you've been through, you're going to uh, get this new job coming in, new money coming in, and it is time for you to take a little bit of a break, take a little bit of a holiday. And that's coming in April, and that's around your birthday time. So, uh, you know, you might be a bit of feeling a bit um, that your energies are low. You need to recharge your battery. So in May, you've got uh, the home of a year. So it looks like you might be buying a new home in May or investing in new property that's coming in. There's a transformation that happens. So you're leaving behind the past, letting go of things that didn't serve you and moving forward. Uh, you are changing. You have changed from uh, where you were uh, in the past and definitely um, moving on um, to something better. You've also changed your philosophy of life. So it looks like you've undergone a major transformation after facing a lot of battles. And you've got the magician and you're in a state of um, manifestation now. So the pathway is definitely open and clear for you. And you can do anything now. now. Take charge of your life and you can manifest what you need for success. So anything you think about is something that you're going to be able to produce physically. So two big major arcana cards coming up in May. So big changes coming in May. And you're going to be able to bring things into your reality uh, quite magically actually. So in June, you've got um, the coffin. So you're laying to rest all the things from the past and moving on. And you've got the um, Ace of Rods over here, a new project, a new venture beginning. You've got a new sunrise, the dawning, dawning of a new day. Um, it says open eyes, so make sure you're well aware of everything that is going on around you. And it says keep your ears and eyes wide open and your mouth closed if you wish to acquire the habit of, of prompt decision. So... Um, you know, make sure that you're watching, be very vigilant and act on the information that you are receiving. So the seven of autumn says well, all that you've put in, all the hard work that you're putting in is going to pay off. Have patience, don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next step. Uh, a, um, a prudent investment of time or money. So whatever you invested your time, your effort, your money in, whatever job you've been going for, you're going to get a lot of abundance because you can see this boy sitting on a lot of pumpkins over here and it's just waiting to, to fall into your lap. So this is just about to happen for you you're on the brink of uh, success there. And that's going on in June. So in July, you have... Um, a letter coming in, and this is showing some good news coming in. It looks like you've got the Eight of Pentacles over here, uh, working really hard, uh, learning on the job. Make sure you're not missing any information or missing any news that is coming in from people. So listen to what people have got to say. But definitely, you know, working independently and very focused on your work and, um, you know, managing to get things done. This is the card, you know, of learning on the job, becoming an expert at that particular field getting some recognition. You've got assert yourself, so make sure that you are showing your confidence um, and acting with confidence, really. Um, it says, awake, arise, and assert yourself. Um, your star is now in the ascendancy. The world is filled with abundance of opportunity, uh, which dreamers of the past never knew. So whatever your dreams are, they're coming true, and you need to assert yourself and make sure that you're showing people that you are very confident. You've got the world. So you've got the world in your hands over here, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey uh, that is now complete. So you have really reached, um, you're reaching the pinnacle of your success over here. And you're achieving everything you wanted to in your work life. So you're getting the promotions that you need. And, uh, you know, you, you're in charge of a lot of things. The uh, work card is ruled by Saturn. And this is a card that denotes work. So you are really on the top of your game as far as your work goes. And this is in July. There might be a promotion coming in there as well in July. So in August, you've got uh, good news coming in with Ryder. So this is very good news and overcoming a lot of of obstacles you might be really changed to your work so you are very focused on this work and you know spending a lot of time doing it this is another card the devil card being ruled by Saturn so you are a bit on the obsessed side make sure you're getting some rest and don't stress yourself out and it's just one step beyond so maybe that is your policy just trying to do that little extra but having you know focusing a lot on work and going that little extra mile to to bring in that uh, success you've got the princess of spring which says um, a new relationship or emotional experience um, 
invitations to social events. So a lot more networking coming in um, in August for you, meeting a lot of people and making some good friendships with this Princess of Summer. In September, you've got um, this awards card coming in over here, the honor card. So a lot of fame, acclaim, you might be getting some awards, uh, you know, getting a good pat on the back and some money coming in as well for the, all the work you've done. You are waiting for some news to come in, for some information to come in with this high priestess, but you also need to follow your intuition and act very independently of what everybody else is saying. You will need to be very strategic about what you're doing and basically keep your ideas to yourself, but get the work done. So she keeps secrets. Don't tell everybody everything about yourself. Uh, you know, tend to keep um, a, an air of mystery about you. But there are things that have not been revealed yet, so you just have to wait for these facts to come to light. And there's a bit of divine timing in play over there, but things will work out. Definitiveness of purpose, so you need to find a goal and make sure that you are following that goal uh, with this card. And the final card is the Emperor, so taking control, this is your card, it's ruled by... Um, uh, Mars and it says use logic and structure to increase your success get organized a firm but compassionate leader and so you're taking on this leadership role and you are really much in charge you're managing your finances you are on top of your game over here and very much the ruler the leader that you are in September now in October You've got uh, the scythe over here, so cutting away all those negative thoughts, negative feelings, or all the people that are giving you any hassle, cutting them out of your life, cutting out any strife out of your life in order to move forward. Uh, there's an end of any difficulties, any problems. You've got your ship coming in, and all that hard work that you're doing is going to be paying off over here with the ten of rods. So all those responsibilities and burdens, all of that goes away. You've got great leaders, so you're you're getting that great, you know, you're becoming the great leader that you are. Uh, with this Emperor card, is about leadership uh, in um, September, and you are now being seen as a great leader uh, in October. You've got the Nine of Spring over here, so protect your fruits of your labor. Prepare f for possible challenges that lie ahead. So any kind of problems that you deal with, you need to defend yourself and make sure you're standing up for yourself. And, uh, you know, you're taking on this air of being a leader, and people are seeing that you can sort out problems. So in November... You've got uh, the fire over here. So any kind of problems that you're having is all going to blow over. It will all fizzle out. So uh, don't be worried uh, that it's going to uh, have any effect on you. It seems like everything just dies down. Any kind of uh, problems that you might have had just dies off. Uh, you've got stability card over here with the four of cups. Maybe being offered something more stable, more long term. Uh, you know, where you can put down roots and establishing uh, your strength. Um, in your job so uh, a very stable position to be in like I said a new maybe an offer coming in to give you that stability and uh, decide what you desire make sure you are going for your goals so you are working according to your desires you finally have the uh, queen of autumn so you are reaching that top of your career ladder and uh, be practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful um, meeting somebody that will help you make your dreams come true so there are people around you now that are taking notice of you and are there to help you up that career ladder and also you're landing some kind of job that pays very well uh, brings in a lot of money and allows you to be in a management kind of position where you're taking uh, leadership taking um, you know ruling uh, really working with a lot of people that you are um, managing you're managing a lot of people over here so you need to be very practical in how you do it but this is the money card and this means that a, a lot of financial abundance coming in for you in november so very stable you're moving into a very stable position after having a lot of hassles uh, during 2018 uh, and December, the final month um, of the year, it is also a really good card, which says there's a lot of acclaim. You've got the star of year, a lot of recognition, and you're in the spotlight as well. You've got um, the judgment card over here, which, see, um, you know, this is ruled by Archangel Gabriel, which shows that you have taken a different pathway in life and you are now successfully uh, making everything happen. You are very powerful and mighty and you are being divinely guided in this particular uh, path that you uh, are doing. So this is the path that you were supposed to follow. And with the Eight of Autumn, it looks like you might uh, become a teacher or somebody who is going to be um, a mentor, uh, giving some advice to people. You might go back into some kind of education education field uh, or you might be learning new skills as well with your job so you could be doing some seminars or courses um, 
or some kind of apprenticeship, maybe following a new route. So you decide to do something different, uh, maybe Im improve your skill set um, in December, and that's coming in in December for you. But all in all, you've been divinely guided, and it looks like you know you've transformed yourself, and you are now much more powerful, much more mighty than you were before. So you have really come into yourself and gained back that power that you seem to have lost for a little while and a lot of people are recognizing it and with the star a lot of people following you and uh, you know recognizing your success and recognizing your leadership it's a really good way to to end so uh, um, you know it seems like you've put all the troubles behind and now you're working your way up through the year and getting into that leadership position and getting your financial stability coming in for you um, so I hope that this reading resonates with you and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and all the best for 2019 uh, thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye